Hey gorgeous ones, Ingrid Anna here. Hope you're having a beautiful morning if you're in Australia, USA. You're in the afternoon or going into the evening. And I wanted to reach out today to really have a deep chat about money, rising up, claiming our power, owning our voices, and really having quantum level shifts in our lives. I'm just going to wait to see if a few people hop on. I'm going to see if I can see myself live. Okay, let's see, let's see. Give me a few seconds, please. Sometimes I think it takes a little while for it to be activated at the moment. I'm not too sure what's happening. Uh, give me a second. Um, checking people can see me. to tick now it's like it takes a little while to get activated for some reason okay come and say hi over here hey Emily and we have to chat hey Paula people are joining now okay so what I'm seeing a lot right now and I'm just gonna bring some real love and presence in here put on some of my whisper and really just cultivate a lot of energy and love here right now. Hey, Kaya. Hey, everybody. Hey, gorgeous Paula. Hey, Emily. So, you know, as we're all ascending, hey, gorgeous, as we're all ascending right now, I see um, a few different things that I really want to talk about that means a lot to me and it needs to be said. And that is, you know, you have to be honest yourself where where are you perpetuating struggle? Where are you allowing your past trauma to feed into your present reality, right? There's a process and there's a time for absolute healing and going within. And there's also a time for moving forward and serving deeply. As human beings, we're always going to have, as souls, as spirits who've incarnated as a human being at this time in the world, in this time in consciousness, you're always going to have things that, that will come up to take you to the next level. And it's so important to have a deep level of presence for that, respect for that, uh, to not shame yourself in having those emotions come up, to be deeply honoring of that whilst, hey Jennifer, go just moving yourself forward. So what works for me in my ascension is when I need to take the time, I take the time but I also have a very deliberate forward, forward moving energy and that serves me so well. Because when I am serving, when I am moving forward in deliberate intent, what I am doing is I am actually moving my energy forward, cultivating and conjuring a deeper level of healing and presence as I serve. So I don't go into the stagnation and deep, deep, deep suffering any longer. I used to do that, right? Around moving through those emotions. It's almost like it's become like this beautiful dance where I have the level of presence and curiosity and love for myself. I look at it, I process it, I learn from it, I expand from it and I continue to move forward in my level of service, owning my message, owning my voice, building my business, calling people in, and creating almost like a beautiful, uh, it's like a stream. It's a stream of momentum. And it actually comes with a deep level of presence and love and connection and joy. Um, not, it's not the stagnation and the suffering and too much going inward. So I'm not saying that going inward, <laughs> Um, you know, like it's, it's something that does need to be done, right? It does, it does need to be looked at. You know, you can have what I call, you know, the dark night of the soul. You may then go within that and allow yourself to have sacred space, take time for stillness, you know, watch your chick flicks, cry a million tears. And, and 
give yourself that time. And then there's also the other choice of doing that, but also moving forward very, very beautifully, deliberately. It's almost like when I see myself doing this and I see women, my intent for women is to hold each other's hands. Imagine us walking through a beautiful forest. Hey, gorgeous Camille. And we're holding hands. And it's with the vulnerability and the grief and the sorrow and the rage and any emotion that comes up and yet we are moving forward. We are moving forward into new dimensions because the truth is you can create, and hi, thank you for the love, you can create a radical new dimension for yourself. I'm so over the money stories. I'm so over what's happening online. Like people saying, oh, you know, people talk about making money really quickly online and that it's a farce and it's, it's actually when you really, Think about that level of talk and people then shaming other coaches. Literally, I had literally, even past clients of mine who do this, I literally, I'm like either remove, block, unfollow because I don't want to be part of that level of vibration. It's just, it's just very um, dense uh, and it's something that I, I absolutely, I don't need to solve and I just stay on track with my vision. Uh, what can happen for you when you learn how to move forward, hold presence for your emotion and cultivate this deep sense of service and action through love, through love of self and love of others is you mobilize yourself and you create a magnetic energetic field that brings in clients, that brings in, which is when you bring in a client, it's really about connection. It's really about intimacy. So I don't hold back, like whatever's going on in my life, like I'll get on video, I will use it, I will conjure and I create and in doing that I serve and of course I make money because I charge, because I'm not a charity, I charge for my services and I charge absolute peanuts for the work that we do. Um, I am psychic as all, I am an energetic healer, I am a strategic diva. I'm not just a coach. That coach term doesn't really suit me at all. I'm a st strategist. So I understand funnels and positioning and marketing and branding and copy and messaging and presence and voice. I have 20 years of business experience, right? So I use all of that plus my, my ability to hold sacred space to catalyze momentum. Now, Someone can come in to work with me and start selling. Literally, it's happened time and time again. $10,000, $20,000, 51 k in three months, $70,000 cash in seven weeks. Or they can do this. They can go around and around and around in their grief, they're holding back their resistance. There's no judgment of that. Everyone has their own process. Everyone, um, some people have very, very deep wounding that they've never looked at. There's no judgment in that. However, like someone's just come in, someone here, like one of my clients just sold 24K on one live stream. Now she went through a process of ascension healing when she came in, it took her about three months of being with me in my diva mind to then do 24K from one live stream. And now she's on that role. I had someone here who just sold, um, who's watching right now, who just sold um, her first high ticket package paid in full, I think it was about a $3,500 US offer. And now she's in a role, uh, on a role with all of that. There's a new set of neural pathways, there's a new energy, there's a new frequency. So I just want to bring to, um, bring to the table that really at the end of the day, if you want to get into instantaneous cash flow, uh, it is possible. It is absolutely possible. It's really up to you and your energy and, and what you will allow yourself to receive and also how you uh, deal with the emotion that's coming up in you. So I think women are shamed and blamed and attacked and uh, usually told from, from young girls, it's in our DNA from from because our mothers were denied. We're not really told how to hold space for our emotion. And I know that when I was growing up and I had a lot of darkness and a lot of real deep trauma from my childhood, um, kind of a lot of shock, um, a lot of grief, I didn't know how to hold that space for myself. Um, and it can become incredibly toxic. So the conversation here that I'm bringing to the table and what I really want you to begin to entertain is 
Are you loving? Do you hold presence for yourself? How do you digest and assimilate your emotion and how do you then bring it and express it in the, into the world? And then do you allow it to drag you down and slow down your ability to serve and grow your business? Do you allow it to eat you up and then you're continually perpetuating a cycle of suffering? Or do you take that suffering and take your pain, as I say, and make it rain? connection service do you get what i'm saying guys you know allow yourself to have emotion don't have shame for it but process it digest it digest it allow it to give you fuel to serve others because if you're suffering so many other people are suffering and they need you as a leader to take up space and to share and to communicate and to reach out and to use your message and your story to lead them into a completely new dimension. Yes, Jennifer, thank you. So what I see is some people, it's almost like they run away from the emotion or they think that there's something wrong with them. I'm sorry to tell you, well, I'm happy to tell you, but there's nothing wrong with you, right? Um, there's nothing wrong with having emotion um when you're a light worker and you are you know it's like a shedding process that comes up and you are up leveling um that emotion is very natural and i'm just inviting you to use it to serve to use it to move forward and to not berate or beat yourself up or feel bad for having emotion because the truth is you know, I just started working with a woman, um, literally, we haven't even done our first session, and she's already sold another 6,000 US um, within the last two days, and we haven't even done our first session. This is what is available to every single person. So my energy isn't let's go, 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 push, push, push. It's more like a beautiful... <laughs> powerful aligned flow and when you get into that sense of flow and service and divinity when you just trust that all that you are is more than enough and you align with making money with grace every single day you sell every day imagine feeling into i now give myself permission to sell every single day your whole entire field shifts it's not forceful, it's not manipulative, it's not hard. It is probably the most sacred Hey Love Day act of ascension that you could possibly go on because we've been fed also so many myths about money and worth and it's all, a lot of it, a lot of it is bogus. As I serve and make money and receive, I can assure you, I have literally helped over 200 women over the last few years, they are my specific clients, rise up and radically not only change their bank accounts, but change how they live, how they relate to themselves, changing literally every fiber in their being so that they can actually receive it, so they can, hey Sidoni, so they can actually serve at a level that nourishes them rather than giving everything away almost for free and perpetuating a cycle of overgiving, people pleasing kind of sense of brokenness, right? The word broken, brokenness, right? You deserve to rise into a higher level of receiving and wealth consciousness. I can assure you there is no way that I could hold space for whatever it is, the 70 women in my diva mind and all the digital people that we've got in our digital program where we also have private coaching, not private coaching, sorry, I have coaches on the group supporting them on, the, on that group. I literally could not do the level of work that I'm not doing without the capital to support me. It doesn't make sense. It's not sustainable. So as I grow my revenue, I actually serve more. I'm able to reach more people. I'm able to create my digital products. I'm able to, to you know, hire two different coaches to be able to support people there. Not, it's nowhere near the level of what we do in my diva mind, but we're doing things that no one else in the industry is doing because we don't want people to get stuck. And it's our level of commitment that we want to bring with our products. You know, um, it's incredible. I just, you know, and we're constantly adding to it. 
So guys, if you want to make another, say, even 50K, $50,000 in the next, say, two months, in the next 30 days even, depending on where you're at with your business and where you're at with your consciousness, it's all possible. You have to allow that to be a reality um, for yourself. You have to actually say that you deserve that you desire it that you deserve it and to really hold presence for that and to not feel any sense of guilt about it you're going to need to be a leader and a teacher you can't be online hiding you can't um, expect for people to want to come to you and work to you and pay you the big bucks if you're there holding back in resistance you have to start to have what i call like it's a resonance of riches it's a resonance of respect for self and respect for others to have the courage to speak up, to be seen, to activate and call people in. And you need to know what you stand for, what your message is, and you need to express it. All you need is one really divine, compelling offer, not 10. People come to me, their offers, that is a complete, to be honest, they're a mess. <laughs> and it really usually shows where they are at um, emotionally, right? It's like this scattered approach. You need to be as grounded as all F if you want to sell. Grounded, clear. Otherwise, it's like this scattered, confusing mess of a kind of offer and people can't even attach energetically to the offer because it's not clear. Clear energy, clear communication, transparency, love, presence, intimacy. That is what has helped me grow my business and speaking my truth and not judging myself and feeling like they're not enoughness syndrome. Like, oh my God, that is such a worn out story. It's just so, aren't we just over it? Like, oh my God, am I enough? Do I have enough? Is the money gonna run out? Are people really gonna pay that much? I invite you to stop with that conversation and just focus purely on that which you wanna receive. So it's if it's like you wanna work with 10 people at $5,000 each, that's 50,000. Focus on that. How can I serve these people? Hey, Hillary, what am I going to be teaching? What is the message? What are the outcomes? What's the journey that I'm going to be taking them on? That's where your focus should be. You know, that's the focus. So always when your mind wavers, when you go into the story, catch yourself and go, oh, there's that story. Don't berate yourself. See it. See it with love and say, I am now dissolving that and coming into grace. I'm coming into peace. I'm coming into love. I'm coming into my my divine right to express my voice, own my power and communicate my truth with conviction and clarity. I now am receiving divine clients who are ready to work with me, who are a hell yes, who don't hesitate, who are aligned and ready to go. And so it is. And so the question you should always be asking is, well, what can I do to reach this goal? What can I do to reach this goal? Who do I need to become? What do I need to embody? What support do I need? So I'm gonna go and take my daughter to school. I wanted to reach out and just say hi, send you guys some love. And really we have, if not the leading, it has to be one of the leading Diva Mind Mastermind programs on the planet. I have worked my butt off to create something incredibly potent, deep, advanced strategy, deep healing, you should know by now, by my presence and my energy and my conviction of who I am and what I stand for, if I'm the real deal or not. And I'm inviting you to monetize the F out of your calling and your message and stop running around in circles. Get the support you need and let's rock this shit. Let's rock it. Get on a call with one of my divas at ceodivaconsult.com. I will put the link up here. If you look below, that there, there's like a, a blurb. Then there's a calendar. Then below the calendar is literally eight video testimonials of my clients who are doing like half a million dollars in five months. I've got women selling 10Ks in their first week of joining. Uh, we've got 24K months after three months. We've got... Um, people like people who work private with me, like Rendina, a video testimonial from her where she did a half a million in, in the five months, went from 10K to 24K. We've got women who barely can afford to pay me making the 10 grand in, in the first month. It's, it's really um, going to be dependent on number one, claiming for yourself, doing the work, following through. It's a co-creation. It's always a co-creation. 
I've got women, as I said, who've just has that haven't even had their first session with me and they start making a heck of more money. I've got someone just who's come here, Ninky. She made 70 grand in seven weeks. Um, you know, she's incredible. These are, are incredible women. Um, it's okay to get help. It's, it's, you deserve it. It's, it's okay to rest and be held by somebody who knows the path. You know, I don't have a half a million dollar business. I don't have a 200K a year business. I have a million dollar company. I did my taxes last week. I have a new accountant. Um, I'm not someone pretending to have a, you know, have a business that I don't have. I, I, I sometimes even have to stop myself and like look at the numbers and go, okay, these are the numbers because I'm so busy doing it. And only three years ago or about three and a half years ago, I was selling hundred dollar sessions. Um, I think it was a bit longer than that now, but really my trajectory of my growth and my business really came when I started doing group high end because when you do group high end, that's where you can scale. You know, you want to start, you can start with one on one, you can start, you know, bring in a quick 10, 20, 30K, get some cash in the door, and then start to leverage yourself into higher end group programs so that you can scale and have an automatic enrollment. So, with my programs, you can join at any time. We're constantly bringing in new students, constantly. Uh, there's no start and stop. And that's a business model that you want to be in. If you're starting from ground zero, you don't have much capital, start selling high end, get the cash, get the cash in the door. And then you can start leveraging into group programs, running your webinars and all that kind of stuff, right? That's when you can do 100K a webinar, 200 grand a webinar, $400,000 I did in about three webinars back to back over three weeks. All possible, but you need the strategy, you need the support. So whether it's with me or somebody else, get the support and make sure that you choose someone who knows what the heck they're doing and who knows how to hold presence. So guys, I'm sending you so much love. Have a beautiful day. I'm gonna go and flow it. I'm having a meeting today with a client of mine who's running a massive event and she's hired me um, to speak at this big event about visibility, monetization and healing, which I can't wait to do in July. Um, she's doing incredibly well. She has a multi-million dollar business and um, I feel very honored to go and speak to those people. I'm gonna, I'm going to blow them away. <laughs> gonna have some fun. Gonna get a little bit crazy. <laughs> Life moves both so fast. I like to have a lot of fun. It's time to get really, really, I don't know, just, just let it all out. Just have a bit more fun. Show your true self. Allow yourself to be seen. Allow yourself to be heard. Allow yourself to receive. Okay, blessings, divas. A million blessings. Bye.